He's piled up yards during his career, about half the rushing yards this season that Gray has had. Swing pass out into the flat, and getting loose is Princeton Fant. He's got a first down and more. The tight end spins across the 50. Swing to the tight end just on a flat route. Nice block on the perimeter. Play action. Bailey, long throw to the sideline, and it is on target to Josh Palmer. They fake the end around. Wheel route down the sideline, wide open, Jacob Warren at the pylon, and in for a Vols touchdown. Defense like this, time to throw the football, the wheel route comes open, and in a game that everyone thought A&M was going to show up, it's the Volunteers early on, on top. Him working out of the slot. Mond looking that way. To the sideline, Weidermeyer slides, and he hauls it in. How things go when that committee meets tomorrow. Mond gets outside with a stiff arm in the red zone and more. That's good for another Texas A&M first down, it looks like. He got it right down to the line to gain at the 16-yard line. It's Weidermeyer in motion. Mond. He might take it himself. He'll try to get to the goal line, and he'll break the plane. Texas A&M with the response, and Kellen Mond's got a touchdown. See if Mond got in, look at the toughness, the physicality. He fights for that end zone and stretches it across the plane. 2000, 2019 and 20, and now he's on the verge of being an NFL draft pick. Spoke to him this week, he's mature. Walks on senior day as a graduate, fulfilling that promise, just a great story. Bailey on third down. Pumps once. That ball comes out sideways. And it is scooped up, it looks like, by Darnell Wright, the right tackle. Will they rule that a fumble? Or was that an incomplete pass? Fourth down now for Tennessee. Tyree Johnson on just a power rush. He gets that ball out right as Harrison Bailey is trying to deliver it. Nice job. Hand on the football. Good pressure from the outside. And it's, you know, it's really quality coverage down the field. Harrison Bailey, he couldn't go. Smith there, Wayne dangerous here. tandem. Spiller at the goal line, reaches the ball out, and he's in for the A&M touchdown. And Texas A&M takes the lead. See if Spiller breaks this plane here. Good physical running at the goal line. Clearly reaches it across. Bailey off play action. Gets hit, and the ball pops out. That's ruled a fumble. There's a scramble for it, and it looks like it's Aggies football. It is. Andre White gets the recovery. DeMarvin Leal all over Harrison Bailey. Get rid of the, when to get rid of the football, how to escape the pressure. Not quite there yet. The snaps haven't been there, and DeMarvin Leal fights through not one, but two different offensive linemen. Short range field goal, Seth Small. And he puts it through. He's shown some bright spots here late in the season. Play action. Well protected. Shroud's going to take a deep shot for the goal line. Looking for the same target in Cedric Tillman. Does he have it? There's a flag down as well. It's a touchdown for Tennessee. What a catch by Cedric Tillman. Lays out and finds Pater. Picking on once again Brian George, who's in for Miles Jones. Does he complete the process of the catch? I didn't see much movement as he brings it in. Athletic play, full extension there from Tillman. The ruling on the field is a touchdown. That was passed. Swiss Army Knife running back are your two best offensive players as Mott throws one to Weidermeyer up the seam. He's wide open. All the way down to the 35-yard line of Tennessee. Watch him as he's just going to get up the field, attack the middle of the field, just a simple wheel route. And this is really where this Tennessee defense has faltered. Offense to tackle him in the middle of the field, but was able to keep a drive alive. So that's a huge penalty. Costly. Costly. Mons. Deep shot down the sideline. He drops it in. Hezekiah Jones holds on. Gets blown up by McCullough. Yard line. Cover two and a bullet pass. Fits it in just before the safety come over the top. The entire playbook at the disposal of the Aggies with a timeout. 
Mont. Touchdown! Wide open Anaya Smith. He didn't miss him that time. There is a flag down at the line of scrimmage. This option route as he shakes like he's going to work inside. Stops on a dime, works out, and it completely shakes off the corner. Mond runs the option, fakes the pitch. He's got a first down and more. Kellen Mond near midfield before he's brought down. Now this is what I'm talking about, putting a defender in a bind. Watch 14 here, okay? As he's going to feather, Mond's just going to tuck it up and go. That's what this option does, and I just give Kellen Mond so much credit. The blitz, they can play coverage and just rush four and still get pressure. Shroud's going to lob one up the seam, and reaching up to make the catch is Josh Palmer. A third down conversion for the Vols. Brian George, single coverage, as you see the, the defensive end drops late, 15, Jeremiah Martin. There in College Station. Third down and two. Here comes a blitz. Mont bullets one over the middle to Chase Lane, who gets free. Lane with a stiff arm. Thrown down all the way inside the 40 at the Tennessee 36. So much about this offensive line. Look at the poise. Look at this right here. He's got all day to survey the field, locate Chase Lane over the middle, and then Chase Lane refusing to go down quality yards after the catch. But it all starts with the protection after the Tennessee blitz, allowing Kellen Mond to stand tall in that pocket, have his poise. It's in the left slot. Anaya Smith at the bottom of your screen in the right slot. Mon bullets one to the end zone, and it's intercepted, picked off by Flowers. Down the sideline, or check that, picked off by Taylor. And Taylor is able to get to midfield after hurdling a man. And not only does Tennessee get the red zone stop, they get a takeaway, and they are in business out near midfield. Nothing and no points. Kellen Mond trying to find Hezekiah Jones. Alante Taylor, he's got different plans in mind. Can Tennessee take advantage of the takeaway? Move them up over a and &M. I mean, everything is kind of aligning, setting up perfectly for these Aggies. Kellen Mond off play action. Floats one up the seam. Weidermeyer. It's a 50-50 ball. And as usual, Jalen Weidermeyer wins the battle. Linebacker Corvarius Couch. And this is a mismatch. Crouch. Gets beat by the head fake inside. Watermeyer goes up. Really double catches that football. Tries to high point it. Good job by Crouch. One of the best running backs in the SEC. Selfless to help this offense. He'll block for Anaya Smith. And Anaya Smith will score again. Touchdown AM. and And they extend their lead. Necessarily through the Big Ten championship game. That might have been the easiest. But there are other ways that AM could find themselves in the top four. Harrison Bailey is back in at quarterback, and this handoff on the delay to Ty Chandler picks up a first down. Bailey extending the play, trying to get away, and he cannot. Now he will be thrown down by Bobby Brown. He handled all that with class and dignity. There's Anaya Smith. Using speed, breaking tackle, slides down inbounds. And the ACC is as top-heavy as it has been all these years. North Carolina is probably the next best team behind the top two, and that's – there's not a lot there. What a move by Anaya Smith with the stiff arm. Anaya Smith down inside the 10-yard line before he's run out. First and goal at the nine. An outstanding piece of running. As you see, get behind 65, Dan Moore. He gets a kick-out block. And Anaya Smith in the open field is dangerous. What a fourth quarter he's had. You see him put that foot in the ground, get north and south, use that speed on the sidelines. He's going to send Seth Small out for a chip shot field goal and make it 34-13 with a minute 16 to go. Trout rolls to the sideline. He'll heave one into the end zone. And it looks like that will be intercepted by Brian George. A little vengeance there for Brian George. In game winning streak as the number five team in the college football playoff rankings. Will they, will they still be number five when the final rankings come out tomorrow? Who knows? But it's a 34 13 win in the season finale for Texas AM. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.